can come back to church. God bless them. They can figure it out. You can help them figure it out, but don't talk to us about it. We don't want to hear about it. That, that's immoral. You got a victim and you're telling them the solution is that they're, they're the problem and they need to leave because they're disruptive. I mean, it, you know, because they want justice. You know something? My, um, I told you about my daughter was abused and I, I took her out of uh, elders form two weeks, uh, a week before my son's death. You know, I walked her home and I directly asked the bishop and state president to address that abuse. And then my niece was also abused. We again directly asked them to address that abuse. Abuse. I asked the state president for and these exact words: "Make the church safe for my children." Right? Did you know that in that exact group, my, my daughter's youth group, her exact age? Did you know that four years? I specifically asked them to address abuse in that group, my daughter's age. Did you know, President Nelson, in that exact group, another child died of suicide? Our exact word. That specific group that I specifically asked you to address abuse in for my daughter and my niece, another child was in that group four years after my son's death in that exact youth group. She died of suicide. She died of suicide. President Nelson, this isn't good. You, you can't do this. Your, your children are literally dying because you're a lazy learner. I'm, I'm sorry to keep using that word. It, it's your words. So I'm returning your own word, and I'm informing you. You need to take the reins. You're where the policy is made. You're where the debate ends when you speak. And you're the one that can never lead the church astray. It's you. And you are leading the church astray if you are delegating your duty to protect the children. No, I can't do that. I, and nobody else can. Nobody here on this sidewalk can, can delegate that policy only you can but another child died and i went and talked to her, uh, a youth leader and i said what happened to her and i was privately informed that she was being abused the very abuse that i asked them to address for my daughter and my niece's sake they told her not to participate another child died and she's not the only one you think i'm here just because i've spent thousands to be here today you know and my time and I'm doing this because I love the Mormon people. These are my people. It's my heritage, my family, my cousins, the, the children of my friends. My closest friends are all still active LDS. You know, I, I don't hate the church. I hate the policy that's harming the people I love. People I know are, are choosing suicide. Sit down with me. I'm going to specifically ask you one request, President Nelson. My heart is telling me to ask you this. President Nelson, come down and talk to me. Come down and talk to me and let's have a private message. Let's get you out of the lazy learner mode and let's get you to a place where you, you are listening to a better way to protect children instead of just uh, uh, doing a liability concern afterwards. There are better ways. I've done nothing but ponder this and work this out in my mind for eight years. Done nothing but think about this as I tried to understand my son's end of life decision. We're both men here. God is not a, a respecter of persons. I have some things I can share with you. A perspective that could help you adopt effective policy. President Nelson, I'm specifically asking you to come and and, 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 buy, and visit with me, pray with me. And here, it's only going to take a little bit of time. Get yourself out of the laser learner mode. Give another seat at the table besides the church attorneys. To complete this conversation, and I will bring other experts if, if you're interested, if you're serious about protecting your community, that you are leading. You're the only man that can do this, President Nelson. Only you. I'm asking you. I'm down here all week. Invite me, invite me in. We'll visit. We'll have a conversation. You know, it's a it's a, we're on the same team here. But anyways, I think Katie wants to Yeah, I just wanted to add something because one of the criticisms I got church leaders was the old, you're hitting the one key on the piano thing, ding, 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 ding. Okay, so why is complaining constantly about child abuse in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, in Jehovah's Witnesses, in the Southern Baptist Church, in the Catholic Church of that? Would you like me to hit a different key? Because I think our Lord and Master said, if you offend one of these little ones, it would be better for a millstone to be hung around his neck and drowned in the depths of the sea. 
So I will keep hitting one piano key and so will everybody else. But you know what? You're going to keep losing everything else that this church has, and all you're going to have left is one piano. One of the things that has been astounding to me um, over the last year and a half as I've been learning more and dealing with um, this situation and my own family's life is the amount of my friends who are active members of the church who have also had experiences like this. Um, it doesn't always happen at church. Sometimes it's trust that's given to another person in the church. Um, I've never shared this publicly, but I was abused as a child by a babysitter who came from our work. He abused multiple people, and he also ended up serving a mission. I don't know if he's abused since then, but what I do know is that it's affected my life. I have multiple active friends in the church that have experienced abuse from other church members who, with authorities that have been aware, this is a plague that has visited your church along with the rest of the world. We acknowledge that, but the rest of the world is standing up and taking more notice. So saying that your policies are lauded by other institutions, that's false. Now, maybe it's an, maybe that's an institution that supported, that you guys support or something, I don't know. But what you guys are doing is not cutting edge. It's certainly not prophetic, right? As a prophet, you should be on the cutting edge. You should have the information before the rest of the world has the information. It shouldn't be 20 years after. The Boy Scouts of America had a carve out in there for you guys on child safety, that you guys didn't have to go through the same policies that the rest of the Boy Scouts of America did to protect children. Why is that? Why are so many of the apostles uh, and the, the authorities, the church attorneys, the businessmen, let's ask ourselves that question. Why are we so concerned with liability? Jesus Christ is not concerned with liability. Jesus Christ is concerned with my salvation and your salvation. He's concerned with justice. He's concerned with healing. He's concerned with people being able to go to church and feel safe. And they can't do that when you continue to let the perpetrators attend. Yeah, they gave no safe place for my family. Even during my exit and interview, I had no choice. I knew that if I continued to do exactly what I'm doing today, trying to protect my 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 community, my friends, my my my, uh, my family, I knew that if I continued to say something, I'd be in the same boat as Sam Young. They would have excommunicated me, you know. And during my exit interview, I specifically told the bishop that uh, the reason I left was because they weren't. They, I, it was not wasn't safe for my family, right? We didn't make the place safe for my family. <laughs> this is not right. Actively faithful members of the church should not have to choose between the safety of their children and their faith. And you made me do that. And I, I chose my I chose the safety of my children wisely because another child, my daughter's age, died four years later. I wisely chose my daughter's safety. She might be dead too. But you know what, President Nelson? Our goals are really the same.